Hello fellow robots out there in internet land, I am Silvertron, and welcome to the next episode of Titancraft Season 7 here on Tango Tech's Patreon server. I gotta, I gotta get used to saying Season 7, it's weird. And as always guys, if you want to join us here on this amazing adventure, server's been only up for a week right now. All the information you need is down in the description for Tango Tech's Patreon page. It's insanity guys. Just, sh you can't even see the entire list right now. There's that many people online, which is making, you know, some problems. TPS is a, a little bit on the struggle bus. Uh, there's like, that's what happens when you have over 100 people online. Uh, but yeah, we're back. And actually, I am back in the United States of America. I have returned from my extended six-month trip overseas. So this will be the first episode in a while where I'm actually recording from my house, which is kind of fantastic. I got family. It's great. I love it. I love every moment of it. Um, but let's talk about a little bit about what I've been doing in the meantime. Not a whole lot, uh, because I've been traveling so much. It took me, like, a very long, about two days to get, uh, from where I was to where I am right now. Uh, but our raid farm has been doing us very, very well. I have, you know, fully enchanted diamond armor. I'm not gonna go with netherite yet. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. I got other things to do. But we have been, you know, expanding the storage and just sheer volumes of all the shenanigans that we got going on here. These double chests right here, all full with totems. There's even going to be some more expanded stuff back there. Uh, but honestly, gunpowder is kind of sitting nice right now, and why? Why does this happen? Why does this happen to me all the time? And we're back. Uh, so yeah, we got lots of things going on, guys. This is not by no means all the emeralds we've gotten so far. I've been giving some to Anita to trade for books and Gore to trade for books and things. But we've also started a little shop where we're selling some emeralds and some of these totems over here. So we're going to go check on that place in a second because uh, I've heard profits are a-booming. Uh, the other thing we worked on, though, is you can see it down there a little bit. There was a little plus sign shape there earlier, and now uh, there's a circle there. Uh, so this is the, you know markings of our perimeter we're gonna have out here in the ocean and dj was kind enough to help me lay out all this sand that we're gonna need to block off the water eventually this place will be completely drained out and we're gonna work on it slowly over time uh but yeah i've also been using this farm to make a whole bunch of tools to use we got a ton of picks going on right now a ton of shovels because it's going to come in really handy for this farm or multiple farms that are going to be in our perimeter over there uh, but for right now, I'm actually going to go back up top. It's going to take me a long time to get up there because we don't have an actual bubble vader yet. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because elytras are coming very, very soon. Uh, the end is opening up in a couple hours, so we're going to be heading there, doing some end raiding, getting elytras for everybody. It'll be fun. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head up top here. I'm going to grab some of these emeralds to restock our shop, some of these totems, and I'll meet you in the shopping district because I haven't shown that off yet this season, and it's, you know... It's starting to come together really, really quickly, and it's going to be really, really fun to build a shop there. Or at least uh, make our shop better, because we have a shop, and it's kind of, it's very basic. You'll see. So here we are at Spawn. Uh, Spawn this season is an Amethyst Geode. Uh, last season was a volcano made out of Blackstone, and the mods have kind of kept with the update theme of having, you know, whatever the update is. Uh, right here, it's very nice, the resource world. You know, this little end gateway takes you to the resource world. Uh, which is very fantastic this season uh, to where they changed it back to where you have like these four quadrants of resources, which is great. Um, and then our iron farm, which is under construction still right now uh, by many, many players on the server. Uh, so this season on uh, in the shopping district, it's a little bit different. It is a mushroom biome. And in the past, you could claim a 16 by 16 area and make a shop. And there was no limit to the amount of shops you could have. So many players built many shops. Uh, ourselves, we had uh, three last season. Uh, but this season, it's a little bit different. You'll find scattered throughout the shopping district are these 9x9 nine nine plots. And every player can claim up to four of them uh, in total. No more than that. And they can you know, claim one 9x9, nine nine, like this guy here. Or they can claim multiple 9x9. Nine nine. So theoretically, you can make one shop using these four plots here. Uh, which is what we've done. Uh, we have a shop. Uh, selling the emeralds and the totems right now, and I think Kitty has placed a, a chest temporarily to sell some uh, coral and coral-related things because she's building out in a, in a nice little coral, coral biome. Uh, our shop uh, is not the greatest shop right now, though, guys. Uh, I needed to put something up quick. I saw a nice 2x2 uh, two two, uh, plots, and I decided just to put something down. And the only thing I had on me at the time was emerald blocks. Uh, so we made a shop, and it's simply called the Ugly Green Cube, uh, selling emeralds. I figured emerald blocks would be the best thing to actually make the shop out of. That way people knew. Uh, this is going to change, though. Our shop is ugly, hence the name, the Ugly Green Cube. 
Uh, but yeah, this is where I've been selling totems, emeralds, and saddles right now. Saddles, I don't really care about, uh, but people are paying a nice, handsome price for them, which is great. Uh, just extra diamonds for us. Uh, but emeralds? Emeralds have been flying off the shelves. I, uh, yeah, DJ actually has taken some stock or, like, profits back to base, and I think he said it was, like, two and a quarter stacks of diamonds is what he's brought back so far. But these totems are just going full-on insane. It's great. Um, I'm selling them for two diamonds each right now. That price is going to go up, uh, or excuse me, down in the very near future. Uh, just because I didn't know what to price them at, so that's what I price them at, and they're selling, so I'm fine with it. Man, this is, this is nice. We're getting some good profits here today. Oh, <laughs> more. Holy crap. That's a lot of diamonds. So, so far the shop has made us four and a little bit under four and a half stacks of diamonds. And Kitty asked me to check her shop and... Sorry, Kitty. Nothing yet. Uh, but we are going to actually stock some more emeralds right now. Uh, because we need to. But... You know what? We'll wait. I'll do that off camera. I'm going to show you guys some more stuff. This is Cable's shop right here. He should have... Sh Hopefully in the episode I'm showing, doing this cable showing off his candle shop. Uh, it's really cool. I like what he's done here. He's made these little kind of candle sconces and then candles up top. But he's selling candles and candle-related things. Um, and then some copper as well and honeycomb, uh, which I, he's probably just checked his profits. Uh, he just came on. So, yeah, I really like what he's done in here. It's really cool. I love the uh, the candles he's done on the outside look really fantastic. Uh, but yeah, Shopping District is really coming along. There's a lot of things happening right now. Uh, sorry for the nighttime recording, guys. The TPS is just kind of making nights and days last a very, very long time. Uh, the one thing that I need to buy, actually, right now is Nautilus shells. Uh, we're going to need some uh, conduits to do our perimeter dig. And we only have six right now Nautilus shells. We need two more. Um... And in a perfect world, we'd have a lot more uh, conduits, but I need at least one to get that thing going, like, in between episodes. So I've been told there is a shop that is called the Treehouse, and is this it? No, that's a lumber shop. That that must be it. <laughs> that looks like a treehouse right there. Uh, so I've, I've heard they're a little pricey. I've heard, I think they're eight diamonds a piece is what somebody told me. Uh, I only need two, so I'm fine with paying that ridiculous price. Uh, yeah, not less shells. Ooh! Do I just do it? Do I buy them all? You know what? I'm going to buy the two I need plus eight more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a stack plus a quarter of a stack. Yeah, there we go. We got two conduits now, so that's good. I've got plenty of hearts of the sea. It's honestly the Nautilus shells that's killing me. Uh, but yeah, shopping district. Lots of things. I'll probably be showing this off more in the future. Uh, lots of cool builds happening. Uh don't even know where anything is yet. Honestly, the elytra is like kind of hurting me right now, or not having an elytra, because it's hard to kind of get a good look around this place and see where everything is. Same with our base. We haven't built really anything at our base yet. Hey, that's a Lee. Hi, Lee. Lee is another base mate of ours. She is our auto sorting system. Like, literally her. She does all the sorting for us. It's great. I want a sham! Oh my god, it's like everybody here. <laughs> this is great. Look at Shamrock in that netherite. <laughs> I'm still in my Peasley Diamond Armor. We'll be getting there. We'll get there soon. Uh, but yeah, end is opening in precisely 45 minutes, so we are going to head over there. Yes, I see your Diamond Sham. Thank you. Thank you? Thank, thank you, I guess. Um, yeah, end is opening soon, so I'm going to head over there. Cash has been doing some prep work for it. Why can't I pick up this diamond? Cash has been doing some prep work for it. I've been helping uh, get some gear together, so we're going to head over there. Uh, and, and get ready for this fight. I'm not sure if I'm going to show it off, though, because I don't know if the fight's different this season, but we'll see. We'll see when we get into the end, but we are absolutely going to be doing some end raiding, because uh, I've been designated the end raider for our group, and that means i got to get, like, 10 Elytra, so we'll see how that goes. So as you can see from my very fancy, fancy wings, uh, I had a very, very positive uh, end raiding session. Uh, the fight was the same as last season, just a huge, massive end city on the main end island, dragon, lots of shulkers. And what was really great about this was I was able to get to one of the end ships they had there right away and get my first set of elytra, which, because of my surplus of rockets, led me to getting many, many more. Now, this isn't all of them. Uh, I've given away four already. I gave one to Asgore. DJ and Cash. I still have to give one to Cable, Sham, Kitty, and Anita. So that should leave me with some backups at least. Uh, probably not going to sell those. Uh, there are some people already selling them, and there's also people selling shulker shells and shulker boxes already. Also got just a myriad of random loot that I have to go through. All of those are just filled with diamond stuff and 
emeralds and things, but I'm super low on gunpowder now, especially because I just gave some away as well to some friends. Uh, but yeah, we are doing really good. Also, more profits from our shop right now. Uh, I need to restock emeralds pretty quickly. They are almost out. Uh, yeah, I got a bit. I have a bit to go. Totems uh, looking pretty good as well. But uh, we're going to do our shop here in a minute. For right now, I have to go make a special delivery for this elytra right here um, to a very special person on the server. So I'm going to fly off to her, and I'll see you there in a minute. So here we are at Mrs. Tango's base, who is playing on the server this season with her fancy pink text, and uh, we gave her a little a little gift. Uh, we need uh, to welcome her to the server this season, so uh, Cash and DJ put together this little shulker box for her to do some stuff with, but then I've got this fancy elytra to give her. Hopefully she doesn't have a full inventory. I think that's what's going to happen right now. Come on, Mrs. T, pick up the elytra. There we go. Oh, she might have got one already. Do I have my chat off? I do, that's why. And then, uh, this fancy shulker box for her, too. There you go. So, yeah, I'm giving her just a bunch of gear and tools and things. Let her, let her, uh, get started, uh, right on the server. Uh, so hopefully this does her well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sort out some of this stuff and other things. Uh, and then I'm going to meet you guys back at our uh, our shop because we're going to we're going to absolutely do some stuff over there because it's looking a little a little funky. I got to say, it feels so, so good to have Elytra now. Oh, my God. I a week. It took us a week to get the end open and it it feels amazing. Uh, but yeah, we're back in the shopping district, guys. I just had to give Mrs. T that quick gift of an elytra, and I also hooked up a nether tunnel for her, uh, so she can access everything now. Uh, but shopping district, uh, it looks, I, I think it's a little bit smaller than last season's, uh, actually probably considerably smaller than last season, but this whole plot system that you can see a little bit better now uh, should hopefully help with that to where uh, a single person can only claim up to four plots. They can kind of do their own thing where this guy over here has claimed these two, uh, somebody else can claim these two, uh, but for the sake of ours, we're uh, going to claim all four and just have one big shop this season and sell all of our things out of it. And I was trying to think of an idea of how, like what I wanted it to look like. Uh, like right away off the bat, we're selling emeralds and totems, and that's associated with a raid and a raid farm. So how else do you signify a raid and a raid farm but by a, a pillager outpost? So I'm going to just recreate a pillager outpost over here. We're just going to call the shop the outpost. Uh, I've toyed with the idea of changing the block palette as the season progresses just to different things if we decide to sell other things in the future uh, but for right now we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the standard pillager outpost kind of design uh, so I've got hopefully everything I need here uh, I don't know if it's everything we'll see in a minute uh, still haven't downloaded replay mod so I'm sorry so this will not be a time lapse because I don't have the capability to do it right now. Uh, but when I come back, hopefully we've got this nice, awesome tower here. And the other thing I'd like about just building the pillager outpost is I can just say, go to the outpost, and people will easily be able to identify that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute once this is all done. And as promised, guys, we now have a pillager outpost in the shopping district. Um, and it's actually served its purpose very, very well thus far. I am a firm proponent of building shops to kind of resemble what you're showing like, or what you're selling, excuse me. So like right away, people have already told me hey, like they know what they're buying when they come into my shop. They know it's something to do with raids. At least for now, we're going to add some stuff in the future. But similar cables, cable has candles. We know that that's candles. That looks like a sheep face over there. I'm going to assume that's wool. That's a Cinnabon. Obviously, it's ancient debris. Our shop, uh, you know, pillager raid related. Uh, and we've actually lowered some prices uh, since I started recording this episode. It's actually been a couple days since the last clip, uh, but totems are now three for one. That price is honestly, it's going to start to go through the floor very, very quickly. I am swimming in these things. I cannot like keep them at our raid farm. They're just taking up too much room. I've got many double chests of them and I've been, I've, I've been destroying them guys. I'm sorry. I don't use them. So I don't, you know, no, no skin off my back. Uh, but then emeralds also, I've ra uh, lowered the price. It's essentially getting double the amount for one diamond right now. Uh, those are still selling a little bit slow. Same with these. Uh, but you know what? I got nothing else to do with them, so might as well make some money off of it. Um, Outside-wise, though, I do want to add some custom banners. So if you guys are good with banners and you're on the server, let me know because I'm not good with them. I was going to put some uh, just standard, you know, uh, illager banner things on it, but I didn't think that would look good. 
Uh, so let me know if you can make good banners. You have an idea. Some, I'm thinking something black and red. Those are kind of my colors. Uh, outside, I from what I've been told, the entire shopping district is going to be turned into moss. So we started kind of that theme, and I'm really liking the moss and the azaleas. They look great. I sprinkled in a little bit of grass into here, uh, but the um, you took some damage there, person. Mazikeen, is that it? Mazikeen? Hi, Mazikeen. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I sprinkled in, uh, you know, some grass into here. I think a little bit is nice. A couple path blocks. But the cool thing that I really like is the um, azalea bushes. Just azalea tree. I don't know. I don't even know what these are called. Do I have any? No, I don't. But they've got a slight texture and color difference, and they make really cool paths using this. Almost like it's been the moss has been trampled a little bit. So you've got the nice bright dark ones here, and then they get a little bit lighter, a little bit paler, because uh, it's the top of one of these bushes here. It's great. And then what I really like about the flowering ones, it looks like the leaves have fallen off the the bushes, or the flowers have fallen off the bushes, and they've uh, scattered on the floor a little bit. Uh, but I think all in all, it's looking pretty good inside here now. Absolutely, in the future, we're going to be adding more stock. We've got four levels to stock in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using all of them. Not sure if the stairs are going to keep or remain, uh, but I don't know how to put a bubble vader in here. But I uh, I really like that you can just hop in and out very simply, very easily, and then, uh, you know, fly in as well. Look at that. Boom. Oh, TPS. Hi. How are you? Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. That's all I got. Uh, I hope you liked today's episode. Thank you for all of your support over the last few episodes, especially since the end of last season. Uh, the views, the subscriptions are great, and you guys are awesome, and I love you. Uh, but until next time, you have a good one.